All of this footage was filmed prior to lockdown. We did something crazy! Back in February, you may recall, we started the Canadian Travel Challenge. We purchased the Go Travel Pass from Flair Airlines and we're planning to travel every weekend from mid-February to mid-May. Due to the pandemic, we only got two trips in. Our first one, we flew out to Winnipeg, and in this one, we head to Banff, Alberta, up to the Canadian Rockies. Let's jump in. Well, we were about to just do our good morning intro when Andy broke the curtain. What'd you do? I opened the curtain too hard. Good, good morning. morning. It's our first day. First day, yeah, first day here in uh, Canmore, which is really close to Banff, which has Lake Louise and a bunch of other hikes. And we are starting our day with breakfast. So this is one of Andy's, or our... Money saving tips. I was gonna say, pro tip. Oh, pro tips, yeah, you're right. The pro tip is, um, usually it takes, it costs, uh, costs us around 20 bucks to feed ourselves if we were to eat out. So we kind of use that number and if the hotel that we're going to book is, uh, is only more expensive by less than $20, then we'll book it if it has um, free breakfast in the morning. Uh, we are a fan of the Continental Breakfasts, um, not because of the waffle maker, but because they always have fresh fruits uh, and uh, coffee. coffee and stuff like that that we can actually take with us to have snacks along the way during the day. So with that being said, I think we're gonna go eat breakfast. Let's go! Just got our food. The best part about a continental breakfast is I don't need to think about how many eggs I want. I just eat eggs until I'm done with eating eggs. Also, most importantly, coffee. Did I move away from this? It is absolutely stunning out here. We have only been on the highway for like five minutes. Highway, and we, highway. We are surrounded by mountains on both sides with tree lines and they're snow capped. It is so beautiful. I don't think I want to go back home. So we are, uh, we are in the Canadian Rockies and uh, that, that's where Banff National Park is along with Kootenai and uh, Jasper, which is Oh, next week. Spoiler alert. <laughs> anyway, right now we are heading, uh, we're gonna go into Banff. So we're actually staying in Canmore, which is about an hour, 45 minutes outside of Banff. Uh, so we're driving into Banff now to go visit the picturesque Lake Louise. That's probably the one lake that you all have seen in some sort of picture that represents Canada. It is one of the most popular lakes and backdrops in probably all of Canada. Welcome to Banff National Park. So the, the gate to get into Banff came up sooner than we were expecting. So we're gonna give you all of the tips that you need to know about getting into the National Park. So there's two ways that you can obtain a pass into the park. You can either pay uh, for day passes, which you can spread across multiple days. So for example, we initially bought <laughs> we initially bought um, passes that would last us the whole weekend, but then because we're going to be back and forth um, over the next few weeks in Alberta, and we're going to Jasper as well, the country actually sells what they cover, what they call a discovery pass. And the discovery pass is an annual pass into all of uh, Canada's national parks. 
Uh, and because we're gonna be back so frequently, it actually made more sense money-wise to purchase that. That's right. And it's good for all of the national things. So parks and historic sites in Canada. Meaning maybe we can do some in Ontario as well. Now, for the day passes that we originally bought, we paid $40 for two days for uh, both of us. The Discovery Pass just cost us... Uh, $100 more. $100 more. Right. Um, so there's kind of your cutoff point. So uh, it's if you have two people visiting for six days, that's the, that's the tipping point, then you should buy the Discovery Pass. Le any less than that, and you should buy uh, the day passes. Now, if you have more people, the Discovery Pass is actually good for up to uh, uh, good for a family. Um, they're also quite generous with the, their definition of family. It's basically like I we have to fact check this, but I think it's six people. Six people is the max that you can have on any Discovery Pass, and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you get into Banff, and that's how we're gonna get into Jasper as long as we don't forget our discovery pass at home. Oh yes, uh, some tidbits of information. The discovery pass needs to be signed by someone. So I will sign it or Tia will sign it and it's yours. So you take it with you, don't leave it in the car because once that happens, it's someone else's. Oops, all right, enough of us talking. Enjoy the beautiful drive. Listen, there's no one around. We're at the top parking lot for Lake Louise. This is usually packed by eight in the morning. There's no one here. There's a... There's maybe like five other cars. 10 maybe, tops. To be honest, the peacefulness, like when you stop talking, it's actually really serene. Yeah, we're, we're up at Lake Louise and my hands are freezing, so I'm gonna put my gloves on. Tia's gonna explain to you what's gonna happen. Okay, so we're at the top parking lot. Uh, we're basically, there's a path that's gonna take us down to the actual lake uh, where we're gonna see this beautiful backdrop and we're just gonna spend some time there. Um, you can walk around the lake, you can skate on the lake. Uh, they sometimes also offer uh, horse and carriage rides in the winter, which we probably won't do, but we're gonna head down and kind of see what's going on and just take it from there. And to be honest, like it's just so peaceful and so beautiful that we might just take in the beautiful scenery. So let's get some B-roll on this. Welcome to Lake Louise. This is so empty, it's crazy. We pretty much have the lake to ourselves. Um, it is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I think we're gonna be able to walk on the lake a little bit because it's frozen, so. Yeah, we're gonna, there's a, there's a set of people that went ahead, so we're gonna follow them to make sure we don't fall in. Um, honestly, enough talking. Let's just get some scenery shots.
Well guys, I think it's safe to say that my hair is frozen. Or you know, I just dyed it gray for fun. <coughs> nah, anyway, we're done at Lake Louise. We decided not to go skating because we have a lot of winter gear on and switching into skates would be a fun time. Plus, we're going to Johnston Canyon and we wanna do both the upper falls and the, the lower falls which might take us around five hours. So we wanna make sure that we have enough daylight to safely do that hike. <laughs> 